Hello all, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net on Perl scripting language. In this session we are going to talk about how to access databases from Perl script. From Perl you can access a variety of databases like MySQL, Oracle. In this I am going to show you how to access uh, SQLite database. SQLite is a very very light weight database. You can download it from sqlite.org. If you download, you will basically get sqlite3.exe. And then, uh, if you want to create a database, uh, you have to uh, use sqlite3 and then the database name. I have already created a database, mydb.db. Now, if you go inside, it shows you sqlite prompt. In this one, if I simply say, tables it shows there is one table called EMP now if I say select star from EMP it shows uh, 5 Julia 100 TTT UUU something like that if you also type mode column then type select star from EMP it shows in columns not with the pipeline but I still want the header header on now you do the select statement now you see employee ID is fine EMP name is Julia there's a line break after that that's why it shows the hundred in the next line okay so it is a simple database all you were create update delete uh, everything will work right now there are three records in this database okay now what I'm going to do is delete from EMP it has deleted all the records select star from EMP right now it has got no records what you need to do is to access databases from Perl script I have got another prompt if you see here I have got the Perl script in the same directory as my databases since the SQLite is directory based Whereas if you have only one instance in MySQL, which is system wide, you don't have a specific directory. In those cases, you need to use a connection string. In this case, it is very simple. Copy the Perl script in the same directory as where the <coughs> uh, SQLite database is there. Now, this is a pdb.pl. It's on the same directory. This is what I have given in the uh, Perl script first thing you need to use <coughs> use DBI this is the database interface for the Perl now the very first syntax is to connect DBI this is a pointer symbol hyphen greater than connect DBI connect to the SQLite database and then the database name is mydb.db I don't give the path here because I copied the Perl file on the same directory now I get the employee ID from the user employee name from the user then salary from the user then I do an insert operation if you see here dollar $dbh the database handle dash do it will execute the insert query the same command insert into this table column names values within brackets the value I got it from the users EID dollar EID dollar E name dollar SAL so this will insert a record into the database then I go I'm going to query what is there coming out of it okay so I take dollar RES then DBH select all RA reference this is a command this is a keyword in the package it will select the entire query results put them into a multi-dimensional array so if you see here there's a queue this is this is, this is a query the query is within bracket select the employee ID employee name sal from EMP now I have selected the records it is going to the memory it is going to the dollar res array as you know the at symbol is used for arrays so for each row in the array so the outer loop if you see for each this is for each row then the inner loop is for each column within each row for the number of columns I have got this is from 0th column to 
the dollar hash dollar underscore means so the last column so it, here in this there are only three columns 0 1 2 employee ID employee name and salary there are three columns for the three columns I say this dollar underscore that means this the row minus dollar i that particular column value you print it this is a syntax if you see the dollar i within brackets right this at rest is the basic row within the row you have multiple columns so within the row that particular column within square brackets you are printing it and then for each row I am printing a slash n this is what I am doing in this Perl script now let us go back and then execute the Perl script right now there are no records in the database now I am going to execute uh, Perl pdb.pl okay now it says give employee ID I give 101 the name of employee is uh, John. The salary is uh, 5000. Okay, I entered. So he inserted the record. Now it printed 101 John and 5000. This is purely based on the select statement. Now if you go back, let us go to the database, execute the same thing. That record is now inserted. I did not do manual insertion. It was done through the Perl program. So the Perl program inserted. Let me execute once again. This time it will take one input but it will print two records pdb.pl it is asking the employee ID now I give uh, 200 employee name is uh, Abdul salary is 7000 now if you see here the previous 101 John 5000 that record is there 200 Abdul 7000 that is also there let us go back to this database enter now you got two records over here now this loop for each for all the rows it is printing within each row you are printing all the columns if you want to print only one column you can simply say dollar one or dollar two or dollar zero the column number starts with dollar uh, zero now what I'm going to do is though I have inserted all the records what I'm going to do is I'm going to I showed you insert statement and the select statement after inserting all the records okay now I'm going to give a specific query where salary greater than uh, 5000 okay so this is the query I'm giving so insert all the records but wherever there's a salary greater than 5000 delete only those records so if I go back to this uh, that it has got 5000 and 7000 let me insert one more record with 2000 that should not get inserted or that should not get deleted now let us execute this one go back I execute this give employee ID 301 name Julia salary is 3500 now if you see John Abdul Julia it has printed before deletion but if I go back to the database you see here the 7000 Abdul got deleted because the salary was greater than 5000 whereas if you see 101 John and 5000 this 5000 is equal to 5000 not greater than 5000 so this particular row is not deleted this particular row is not deleted whereas the other one got deleted so if you come back to this code you need to use the use DBA command first connect and then dollar DB has the database handle dash do insert command or delete command or update command to fetch all the records in an array use select all underscore array reference within brackets Q Q in, uh, indicates query make sure you disconnect the database before you come out of the program so this is the same way you can do for MySQL except that the connection properties will change the rest of the things may not change much I hope you like this session so Perl is that simple to connect to database do insert update delete select operations then disconnect I end this session here thank you